empowering your life. Welcome to the Sphere. This episode is sponsored by Houston Housewives of Finance. For more information on increasing your cash flow, becoming your own money manager, and to schedule your complimentary personal finance strategy, contact the Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at the sphere.tv or call us at area code 832-772-7789. Elite Dental Wellness. At Elite Dental Wellness, Dr. Ashandra Batiste understands that one of the biggest obstacles is dental fear. The vision at Elite Dental Wellness is to ensure every patient is treated with respect, ultimate care, patience, and love. Call us today to make an appointment at area code What up, what up, what's going on, y'all? This your man, Ricky Getwood Jr. here, here for another episode at Activate. Before we get started, man, I have an amazing, amazing show set up for you guys today. I have a special guest. I'm not even going to tell y'all right now. I just literally, we just literally threw it out there, okay? But before we get started, go check me out right now. RPGM underscore US on Instagram and also my website, www.rpgm.us. All right, so drum roll. Let me let y'all see who I got in the building today. My brother, my homie, my personal trainer, the dude who I love and I can't stand at the same time. <laughs> and I actually brought him in at the last moment. That's my dude. I call him DJ. Y'all may call him something else. When I'm training, I might call him something else too. But DJ, welcome to the show, man. Man, I appreciate you. Thank you for having me, brother. Man, I'm glad you're here, right? Man, quick. man tell us where here. we can find you at, man. Tell, give us a little bit about your, your social media sites and where can we find you at real quick. All right. So you can find me on Instagram, uh, Poisonous GT. You can find me on Facebook, Poisonous Antidote. Um, all you got to do is look me up. You can hit me up. The phone number is posted on Facebook and Instagram. So if you're looking for somebody, give me a call. Hit so me you, up, get in my inbox. So you basically just open, you just like put it out there. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they yeah. don't have no reason to not find you. You have no say. reason to not find. So for those people who act like they can't find a trainer, you lying. You, you lying. lying. <laughs> yeah. Straight up out there, man. Yeah. I got a crazy, crazy show for y'all. I'm putting myself out there right now. Y'all know me. I'm very transparent, very open. I'm gonna let y'all kind of into our world and how. <laughs> We kind of go back and forth with this whole training thing you know I've, I've had moments where i had to humble myself and realize my dude know more than i know and i don't like it but i have to accept it i'm gonna let y'all into this world so we have a couple of topics today so the main topic today is competition all right that's that's the main topic today and most people know i'm going to this competition phase first one ever um and I, I let my dude really just take me through the ring, man. He gave me all the knowledge, all the information. Uh, so competition is one subject today. We're going to talk about what it takes to be in a competition. Uh, so topic number two, we're going to talk about picking and choosing the right trainer, whether you're doing a competition or not doing a competition. What's the difference between having a trainer for a competition and just a trainer in general? That's going to be very, very fun because you know there's some, there's some nonsense out there. Man. And I had the opportunity. Bro science. <laughs> Bro science. Some straight up, bruh. Bruh, like you know, some some moments where you be like, why why are you doing what you do, man? You, look, you, you shouldn't you shouldn't be doing it right now. So I'm gonna give y'all my new experience into the training world. He'll give y'all more uh, advice and experience, you know, his personal experience into it. So we just go deep dive into it real quick, man. Let's go. So let me just ask you this, uh, <laughs> which is funny to me. I, I never asked this question before. <laughs> where did the name Poisonous GT come from? Like, I, 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 let me before I even let you answer this question. The name just sounds 
just for the lack of better terms, evil, evil. <laughs> it's just like pure evil. Sounds it's like, evil. Yeah. Let me love you and slap you while I drive off of my car at the same time. That's uh, what it sounds like. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, poisonous GT uh-huh. uh, on Instagram, and whatnot. Uh, poisonous antidote on Facebook. So, basically, I am a uh, Ford. Four guy. Okay. Um, I've owned three Mustangs in my life, and all of them have been GT. So okay. that that's the GT part. So we saying and, we need uh, a sponsorship. What are you saying right now? Hey, vroom vroom. Okay. <laughs> Ford. <laughs> if Shout you out, out to there, Ford. Hey, if you <laughs> hey, if you listening, please. Uh, I'll take a Raptor. I'll take a Raptor. Black on black, please. Right. Big wheels. I'll just drive yeah. it and say, go for it. Hey, you know I, 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 I'm just saying, <laughs> Ford. I'm, I'm putting you out there. There you go. Um, yeah. But the uh, poisonous antidote on Facebook. Um, I just, you know what? I try to, uh, I try to get something, or I wanted to create something that was catchy, right. you know, that people had never heard of. Right, right, right. Obviously, it's an oxymoron, and, and uh, hot then cold. Yeah, hot. Yeah. Hey, this <laughs> is a hot cold day. Yeah. Wait, yeah. What? No. So um, it, it's it's kind of catchy. Right. Um, Obviously, it's, like I said, it's an oxymoron. Mm. And uh, I kind of look at it like, yeah, I'm good for you and bad right. for you at the same time. This is true, people. Look, hey, the 30 minutes or 60 minutes that you're with me, you hate me. Mm. I'm, hey, yeah. yeah. But but then, yeah. after that, yeah. you're going to love me. I, I, I'm good and bad for you at the same time. I agree. And with that there name, I think you get people just based on your name, bro. Like, right. Yeah. This is a, you see that? like, what does that mean? Like, right, right, know, right. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, like. Hit up my dude when I tell people like who's my trainer. I say, I say DJ or Delano. They be like, okay, I looked him up. I ain't see his name nowhere. <laughs> I'm saying, okay, poisonous antidote. Poisonous oh, antidote. What is that? Yeah, that's, you know that's a crazy name. But I think he's being true to who he is. Yeah, I mean that's that's you can't take that away from you. Man, you know it's it, it's crazy. Like I'll be in the gym. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'll, I'll go work out. Some I really hate working out at my home gym <laughs> um, because you 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 get a lot of the members there and they want to come and right. ask, ask you questions, questions yeah. and you know while I'm while I'm working out. Like if you see me with my headphones on, don't bring your ass <laughs> over there. <laughs> Plug that in. Don't We're you talk about bring that your on. ass over there. <laughs> like you see my headphones on, you see me working out. Don't come over there. Uh, That's a good one. We bro, I'm about dead that serious, man. I'm like, <laughs> hey, look, y'all might be over here trying yeah. to talk and have a conversation. Look, right. I just want to get in and get out. Right, 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 um, right. But, you know, if I go to like 24 hour fitness or something like that, man, it's, it's crazy. I'll be doing something. They'll be like, hey, hey yo, poisonous. Poisonous. <laughs> hey, PA. I'll be like, what? Yeah, and yeah. I'm, I'm not used to right. being called that, right. you know, in my face. Right, right. And so I'll just keep walking and then somebody be like, Excuse, hey, hey, aren't you poisonous antidote? Oh, oh yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I, I wasn't ignoring you. I just, I'm not used to being called that in public. You see my headphones on? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't come over here. <laughs> that's what's up, man. So being unique, man, being unique, being who you are, yep. that's what gets people, uh, you know, you basically get people attention that way. You know what I'm yep. saying? I think that's awesome. Something I want to dive into real quick, man, is um, you give me your personal experience and and tell me why you chose to even do a competition oh uh, man so th- this is this is gonna be real personal oh uh, yeah man so i um uh, um my daughter passed away mm-hmm. uh eight years ago mm-hmm. um in 2010 yeah and uh so man i got really depressed and gained a lot of weight and um you know my trainer I got to the point to where I was, I just wasn't feeling right. Right. Um, so I was like, I'm unhealthy. I can't bend down and tie my shoes without losing my breath. I was like, man, I got to do something. Yeah. yeah, it was a problem. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I, I got with my trainer mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, I uh, lost maybe 40 pounds, mm-hmm. 50 pounds, something like that. Right. So he was motivated. Yeah, I, I was motivated. Yeah. And, you know, I, I kept hearing, you know, hey, well, exercise is, is the best thing for depression. And right, right, right. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. So right. Um, so I started with him in September, and we got to. Who's the trainer, by the way? Charles Anderson. Charles. Shout Charles out to Charles Anderson. right quick. Yes, Snap yes. Fitness, right? Snap Fitness. Snap. 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 Snap
Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to plug that in later I, on. I also, go I also got to plug my boy Frank. Frank? Uh, Frank. Yeah. I had the pleasure of playing, uh, training with Frank. Uh, I'm going to pause you real quick before we get back into your story. Hold on. Do not do not forget what we just started. I'm not going to forget. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, man. Seriously. This portion of our show is sponsored by Houston House Wiber Finances. Did you know that only four states in the United States offer financial education? 33% or more or more than 77 million Americans do not pay their bills on time. 39% of Americans carry credit card debt from month to month, and 39% of adults say they do not have enough in their saving, savings. Don't become one of these statistics. Let Houston High Five the Finances survive you on increasing your cash flow and becoming your own money manager by scaling your complimentary personal financial strategy. Contact Houston House, House, Houston House Wiper Finances today at 1 844 700 4473 or email us at info at Houston High of finances.com. Ask how you can get participate in a complimentary financial literacy workshop near you. Houston Housewife of Finances are the new faces of new ages of our financial services. Shout out. Bam. Continue. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, um, I dropped that, that weight. We started in September. I dropped like 40, 50 pounds um, by January 1st. And he was like, all right, man. So September we, to January. Yeah. Okay. And he was like, hey, man, now it's time to figure it out. I'm like, figure what out mm. like what the hell are you talking about he was like man you need to get on stage i'm like man get out of here wow. i'm not i'm not getting up on stage in no draws <laughs> <laughs> i'm like i'm not getting up there in the banana hammock yeah and oh, pause uh, right quick you got a picture of it on your instagram right yeah okay yeah, yeah. just just in case you guys want to know so yeah. go ahead and look him up poisonous right. gt yeah just so you can see this guy on stage in his draw <laughs> In the banana hammock. <laughs> I just had to say that real quick because sometimes people don't believe it. It's like, nah, he actually did it. So yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. But go ahead, so Charles. Um, mm -hmm. So I was, I was skeptical, and uh, ba basically he pressured me into doing that show. Really? He so you didn't want to do the show? No, I did not want to do the show. Look, yeah. it, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. I am. I'm not gonna have. I'm not gonna say that I have social anxiety. But I don't like being the center of attention. Really? I do not. I would have never guessed that. Bro, I, I absolutely Dude, how long have been do knowing not. You? Man, almost 20 <laughs> years, man. And I never knew that. Man, I well, do not like being the center of attention. I guess that's so, me. That's what we balance each other out at. There you go. <laughs> go but, ahead. you know, so uh, that, was, that was my fear, just getting on stage and, and being up there and being right. the center of attention. And then, not only that, it's not like I'm just standing there. Mm -hmm. um, you're putting on a routine and you're moving around and people are... They're judging you. So um, he told me that uh, you're going to you're going to do the show and you're go you're going to be good at it. I'm like, all right, well, that's that's fine. So um, we actually started like seriously training for my first show uh, in January. And uh, by the time the show came around uh, Which in, was May, in May, okay. in May, yeah. I lost a total of about 78 pounds to what? get on stage my first time. January to May. Yeah. January to May. Pause, right? Let's hold on to that. Don't, don't, do not forget where you left off at. So January, January, February, March, April, May. You lost how much, how much weight? Um, that was in addition to the, the, the weight that I so, lost starting in September. Okay. So the, so from show September. Weight. Yeah. Okay. So from September, I was probably around like 220. Mm-hmm. And for my first show, man, I dropped down to like 154 pounds. Bruh, that's one of those bruh moments. <laughs> the only reason you. I wanted to bring that up is because so for people who swear up and down they can lose weight, I mean, you can lose weight at any time you want to, but the accurate amount of weight within like a month, it took this dude, I mean, I'm guesstimating like eight months total for you to right. get, yeah, eight right, months right. total for him to get ready to go to a show. And this is like hardcore prepping, hardcore training. You know, like, just super disciplined. This is stuff I've talking about over and over and over. So when people are like, I can't lose weight, I can't do this, I can't do that, you're not disciplined enough to stick to it for eight months. So you two, three years into your weight loss, not saying it's, it's going to happen, you know, that long, but eight months to get ready for the stage, super disciplined, super, super strict, all right? So he did it, and I'm doing it too. So that means – I did it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, so basically what I'm hearing is you didn't really want to do it, Charles – encouraged you uh, like pressured you to do it he put a gun to my <laughs> head <laughs> do it or die and so when when he when you decide like when did you get to the point where you were like i'm like, i'm really doing this like it, it's, it's showtime um dude like 
<laughs> I was like, man, look, all right, whatever. Mm-hmm. I was like, Let, let's whatever. <laughs> I, it I, at that point, man, just man, just, just whatever, just, just whatever. Like he was already beating my ass, right, right, right. right. So, so I might, like, yeah, it's just hiking up a living boat, exactly. Go pause there, right quick. We'll get back and we talk about Charles a little bit more as well. Facebook Live, we ask you that you subscribe to our show on all major platforms, including iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Stitcher. Review our show in iTunes with with constructive feedback. Share this uh, Facebook Live post and the entire show with your family and friends. Donate to our mission to bring in rich and inspiring content each and every week. You can donate at www.thesphere.tv slash donate. Make sure you log in. We're going to log out right now, but we're going to post it up sooner or later. All right. So real quick, I want to take a a quick second to plug in our man Charles. I got a chance to meet him for the first time. I ain't going to lie. Good cat. Like, man, super, super, like, knowledgeable um, just well rounded, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And uh, he's, if correct me if I'm wrong, he's a new owner at the Snap Fitness in Siena Plantation, correct? That is correct. Cool, cool. If you can, go out there and visit Albert. Get, visit, visit Charles, visit DJ. These out, DJ's out there as well, too. Siena Plantation. Uh, do you know the exact address? I know. Hold on. Let me look that yeah, up. Let me look that up I'll, right I'll quick. Look that up but it's Snap Fitness in just 24 hours, am I correct? 24 hours. 24 hours. Absolutely. Man, it's one of them gyms. You just go in there, get it in, go home. Ain't no playing around. That's Nothing why there. we call it Snap. Snap. In there I didn't in even a think snap. about that. Snap. Yo. Just you're in and out in a snap. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, bro. I did not even think about that. I don't know why they opened <laughs> I need you to do better with your life. <laughs> I was wondering why they call it Snap Fitness. Like, yeah, uh, okay, Snap. Ooh, Poor ooh, guy. Ooh. Yeah, uh, so I fell off with that one. So my fault, you know, I didn't know what it was. But, um. All right, I got that address for you. You got the address? What's yeah. the address? Uh, the address is 4607 Siena Parkway, Missouri City, Texas, 77459. Sweet. If you want to give give them a call, ask about membership rates, ask about uh, passes or anything like that, uh, you can give them a call at 281-778-7620. Sweet. Shout out to Snap right quick. And I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be biased, man, but you can almost, almost, I'm going to say this almost, Almost go anywhere with a good trainer and get work done. Right? Oh, absolutely. You know, absolutely. Almost. You know, since we kind of harping on good trainers right now, that brings us up to our next topic. All right. right. Let's, let's talk about <laughs> it. This what is going to be got? so much fun. What we I want to throw out my personal story out there. Okay? Let's go. Personal story with no names. All right. <laughs> no names. So, no names at all. Uh, but DJ, my trainer, he took a vacation, which I wasn't too happy about. I ain't going to lie. Uh, because it was two weeks of me having to make sure I push myself. It was like, you got to you gotta go hard. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't fall off because he gone for two weeks. You come back, you gain two, you know, you gain two pounds in two weeks. You be like, bruh, I, how do you do that? I know how I feel when I'm right. training. Absolutely. And somebody come back to me after I've done everything I can. I'm like, I'm, I'm t- we pushing hard through our workouts. I give you some meal plan suggestions. I'm saying, hey, try to do this, do that. And then you come back the next day and say, I, I had a bad weekend. So when you say I had a bad weekend, I'm like, oh, come on, bro. You know what I mean? So Yeah, you about to have a real bad 30 about minutes, to too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so choosing a good trainer. Yeah. Okay. Let's kind of talk about that real quick. So what... You have a trainer. Right? Yes. Uh, every let's, let's throw this out there as well. Every trainer has a trainer. All right. So it's good to get advice from other people. You know what I'm saying? It's good to get good, solid advice. You want somebody who's better than you or know more than you, know enough that can doctors give you. Doctors have doctors. doctors think have about doctors, that. Doctors, man. You know what I mean? So for you, for people who think that they can do it on their own, unless you're like super crazy disciplined and you don't need nobody else, which I don't know anybody like that right now, you know what I mean? Get some help. Get you a trainer. Get somebody who will tell you and steer you in the right direction. Uh, So how did you go about choosing your trainer? Um, You know what? Man, that was so long ago. Um, I can't even even remember how I went, how I personally went about choosing a trainer. But here is what the public should know about choosing a trainer. Mm. Um, Listen carefully, please. Ask a lot of questions. Ooh. Ask a ton of questions. Yeah. Um, if said trainer knows the answer to absolutely everything, <laughs> no, no, it, it, it's it's. Who's it? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> um, you want somebody who is is going to be upfront with you, and if 
they ask you a hard question, it's okay to say, I don't know. Uh, right. But here's the thing. I can research that and get back to you. Right. Um, you know, for me, um, I get a lot of questions. I get a lot of questions about nutrition. I get a lot of questions about medications that people are taking oh, yeah. because of uh, health issues that they have because of weight or uh, it may be hereditary, right. you know. A lot of the issues that that people have can be controlled with diet and exercise. So, yeah, um, you know that those are a lot of the questions that I get. Um, so, ask. Don't ask be afraid questions. to ask questions, and don't be afraid to ask them. Hey, let me see your certification. Ooh, that's a good. You know, one. how long yeah. have you been doing this? Yeah. Well, show me proof. Right, right, right. You know, um, if they can't show you proof, if they can't show you certifications, mm -hmm. if they can't show you that they are more than capable right. of doing that job. If they're afraid to introduce you to a client that they may have that's in the gym and, hey, you know, go go talk to whoever mm -hmm. and uh, ask them how their their experience has mm -hmm. been, you know. That's a good one. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm so serious, man. Ask questions. Ask for right, proof. Right. So it's okay or uh, you suggest that somebody – ask for their verification and ask for their experience. I know I know a lot of people don't do that. They just they kind of go based on what word of mouth. Like, hey, go train with such and such, you know. Do what you saying? ask the surgeon how long he's been cutting <laughs> on people? Hey, bro, before you go <laughs> cut on me. <laughs> How long you been doing this? Nah, I just graduated. Nah, I don't. Hey, man, this is this is my first one. Um, don't mind it, this cataracts. I'm good. He's like, it is called a practice after all. But yeah, yeah, I'm I'm practicing, I'm practicing on you. On you. <laughs> hey, hey, then you come back. Hey, um, uh, you took the wrong kidney. Oh, damn. Uh, my bad. Uh, <laughs> my bad. Let me put that back in there. Right. Take a couple of hours. We ain't gonna charge you for it. Don't, don't work like that. <laughs> Pause right quick. <laughs> So this portion of our show is sponsored by The Sphere. Are you starting your business and looking for a place to advertise? Do you need, do you have a need to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand or sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertisement needs handled right here at The Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivering platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic within the United States as well as modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dog art Couple with our strategic ad is sure to hit every market every single time. Call us today, area code 832-772-7789, or send the email over to advertise at the sphere.tv. Shout out to the sphere. I appreciate you guys for having us here, man. It's awesome studio, awesome setup, man. It's super professional. I would tell anybody who's looking to host a podcast show, come out here, check it out. You surrounded by entrepreneurs, surrounded by people who know what they're doing. Uh, and if they don't know what they're doing, like you said, we'll look it up and figure it out. <laughs> figure it uh, out. So jumping back into like <clears throat> trying to pick and choose the right trainer. Yeah. Um, what if this is you bring up a good point. What if the guy or guy or girl, not, not being biased, says that, hey, the Me Too movement is here. I <laughs> know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, what if they say, hey, I just got certified um, and I know the basics. Give me an opportunity. Um. That would be at that person's discretion. Yeah. I mean, you know, um, a lot of it is that person's personality. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, not only do you want your trainer to be knowledgeable in, you know, multiple areas, mm -hmm. you want to have a, a personality that meshes well with, uh, you know, with your clients. Right, right. So, you know, that that's that's very important. Um you know, I know some people that are, you know, they're super, super, super high energy. Mm -hmm. And I might have a, you know, four o'clock or they might have a four, four a.m. client. <laughs> and look, you like, whoop -doop -doop -doop, they like, you're like, bro, if I, you don't shut <laughs> your ass up <laughs> and just down, give like, just just give me just give me the exercises uh, and let me go home. <laughs> I, man, look, I, hey. I don't know why I feel like somebody talking about me right now. <laughs> <laughs> a hit dog gonna holler. You know? <laughs> I'm just saying. in the morning be like, go, 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 go. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But, you know, uh, that that's important, too. So, right, you know, right, find right. somebody that's that's going to mesh well with your personality. But touching back on, on what you said, mm -hmm. um, look, man, everybody needs an opportunity. Right. Um, and if you feel that that person, you guys mesh well. You know, go ahead, give them a chance. If not, move on to the next. You know, yeah. it's it's called shopping for a reason. 
Pretty much. Yep. Pretty much. And when you're choosing, like, so you have your trainer set up. Here's a, I mean, a trainer question because I'm a trainer as well. But, like, when you are in a gym surrounded by other trainers training at the same time, uh, is there ever, 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 like, a moment where you feel, like, slightly intimidated or bothered by other trainers and what they have going on? Um, When I first started, mm -hmm. I did. Um, Man, I'm not going to lie to you. When I first started, man, I had, like, four exercises. <laughs> <laughs> I had four exercises and everybody did the same damn thing. What was it? No, man, I had bench it? press, yeah. lat pull down, squats and lunges. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Um now I would do variations of, of those exercises, but no. that's all I had. Here's a variation. <laughs> Five, ten plates. That's all yeah. I had. No, um, yeah. you know, when you first here here's the thing, man. When when you get certified and you you go through the NASM book, mm -hmm. um they that's what they give you they right. give you the basics they don't they don't teach you how to be creative right, right, right. that's something that just comes over you know over the years um now man look i i could i could take you outside and give you a straight body weight workout and have you sore for a week he ain't lying um you know it i i can make five pounds feel like 30 pounds yeah, um lying. you know so it, yeah. it 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 comes with you know this experience. the experience yeah basically yeah but you know when i first got when i first got certified and started training yes i was intimidated because man i'm like man all these cats been doing this for years right, right, right. and i don't know nothing right um yeah this this is not <laughs> good it, it, it was yeah. it was basically like small fish in a big pond right right and right. you don't know what to do um it, it's just like starting a any other new job yeah it's a new job. Yeah. 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 Just so, around a bunch of people who know what's up. Yeah. And it, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I had that feeling as well. And, and I'm one, I guess for me, I kind of get over it real quick. Yeah. Uh, because I accept the fact that I don't know everything. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's one thing when I look for a trainer, I'd rather you say, I don't know. Then, <laughs> then absolutely to make, you know, then to make it up. And so like, even, even when we had our, uh, conversations about nutrition, when I was messing up, <laughs> uh, we, <laughs> we finna talk you about sure that you want to do that no we have to I, okay. I care about the people so i need to give them this especially before okay. the show's over with uh because i had a lot of questions about nutrition i mean the training part was pretty kind of made kind of made sense you know what i'm saying uh yeah. you know getting the heart rate up all the good things like that watching the posture and now i'm making sure i watch my form and technique more than anything uh before we're just like go you know what I'm yeah saying? <laughs> just go but yeah now, now it makes a lot more sense uh to ask questions and pay attention so uh it, let's just say somebody like myself i c i don't think i can deal with somebody who just got started you know what i mean and so okay. like i said speaking on personal experience training with somebody else who i'm like it's <sighs> I'm, I'm gonna say this to you guys get somebody who's you know for a fact or have heard is really really good okay and then train with them for a while and then get somebody who nobody really knows compare the difference i trained with somebody who just wasn't dj and i i'm not gonna lie i ran through the workout it was just like oh, i'm good what's next you know what i'm saying you're like oh it's over it's over and i give this dude and i'm like hey, are we done <laughs> <laughs> he'd be asking he'd be like oh how many more oh uh, okay. is this it i'm gonna nah, do it bro now. you got I more i just want to know how many we got left That's don't worry thing. about it just do it <laughs> pause real quick we'll get into probably one of the most important topics which is nutrition uh, as soon as we hear word from our sponsor real quick so this portion of our show is sponsored by elite dental wellness at elite dental wellness our vision is to create a welcoming practice that will offer exceptional dental care and a lifetime of dental wellness we are committed to the finest possible oral care and the overall health and well-being of our patients. Elite Dental Wellness is built upon a foundation of integrity, expertise, and service. Through our commitment to modern dentistry, continuing education, and friendly atmosphere, we strive to make our patients feel like they are part of the family. Dentistry can be daunting, scary, and uncomfortable. Dr. Batiste and her team work tirelessly to ensure your comfort. Make your appointment today with Dr. Astronda Batiste at Elite Dental Wellness by calling 713-789-8680. Tifus are important. Tifus. I did say Tifus. Um, Tifus. Um, Tifus is very important. Your front row. Your front rows. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, so here's, uh, I think this is probably one of the most important things, which I'm learning is probably one of the most important things. And I'm going to give you all my really short story real quick. Where, and especially going through this competition phase, uh, even prior to then, when I was just wanting to lose more weight and get in shape, not really completely understanding just the basics of nutrition, you know what I'm saying? Like the foundation of nutrition, you know? You hear people talk all the time, oh, don't do carbs, oh, do Atkins, oh, do this, and it's just like, okay, 
what the heck all all these things how does it actually apply to my life you know what i'm saying well, how does it actually make sense you know what i'm saying i didn't know that so the only thing i knew was hey don't eat bad food cool <laughs> you know what right I mean? right Just but what eat. is bad food well, that's what i'm saying so uh one of the the biggest misconceptions about food is that just like you said just now people say oh i eat clean oh i eat healthy you know what i'm saying um what is something that can immediately debunk every saying portion control portion control portion Dude, control so everybody or you've heard the saying too much of a good thing yeah yeah so Look, I'm 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 eating chicken breasts and right. I'm having lean meats and I'm not eating bread and so my my basic diet is chicken breasts and, and vegetables. Mm-hmm. Well what if you're overeating on the chicken breasts? True. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so you can have you can have all the vegetables you want. Right. You know, but what if you're still overeating? Yep. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and yeah, that's very possible. It's very, very possible. I, I literally, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest again. I tell the truth just so y'all can know. I'll mess up so you won't mess up. I need you to get this. So yeah. Don't be like this, Ricky. <laughs> this Ricky is kind of stubborn and a little bit hard-headed. That's just you seen those direct TV commercials? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's kind of like Yeah, don't, don't be like this, Ricky. <laughs> be like this, Ricky, yeah. who has direct TV. Direct, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, you know, again, it's, it's kind of going along with all those, like, sayings. Hey, don't eat carbs or eat more protein. You I love that. carbs. I, I, now I do. I, I'm mad about, oh, okay, don't I talk about carbs right you. now. I'm on 120 grams of carbs. Y'all know what that is? Let me tell you exactly what it is. That's half a cup of oatmeal, one slice of bread, two, slices, two uh, cups of rice. You've been on it for like two days. I'm starving. Okay. <laughs> You'll be all right. You're gonna yeah. come. You're gonna come right back up, though. I'm, it's I'm, not gonna I be can't long. Wait for that day, cause I got half a cup of rice left in the car, and as soon as I get in there, it's going down. Hey, but wait a minute. I have a question for you. Oh Jesus! Here we yeah, go. Yeah. Hey, so we almost out of time. That's all. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. When we started, what two years ago? Right. How much did you weigh? Uh, two years ago, I was 280, about 280 pounds, 280, okay. 285 pounds. You can look it on my Instagram as well, RPGM underscore US. You'll see the picture of me, 280 pounds. And at this exact moment, wow. Exactly. Come on. Come on. Look give at it, that guy. Give, give it to me. Give it to this me. Was, as a matter of fact, this is when we first got started. That's when we first got started. And, and, yeah. Uh, before we even got into like, let's do competition phase. I'm not sure. Hey. Yeah. That Man. was it, bro. You know, so I, I you ain't even have a beard. N- no. Uh-huh. Hey, hey, what do you call a guy with no beard? What? A woman. Oh, <laughs> ta da ching. <laughs> For all you guys don't have a beard idea. Uh, Grow a beard. <laughs> beard gang. Beard so, gang, baby. And at this point now, uh, even going back and forth within the past four months, I'm right. 210 pounds. 210. Know? 210. I haven't even posted an updated picture. Matter of fact, I did post an updated picture today. My my post from today. Yeah. Actually, no, that's not even updated. No, that's no, not, man. That's not even updated. The one from today is actually, I'm still 215, but I'm 215. I ain't willing to know my body, pat, body fat percentage right now, but you can see I look nice and lean from today. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Just compared to the, that was the day. We uh, on the pitch on the left is the day we started saying, "Hey, I want to do competition." You know All right, saying? and the pitch on the right is that was uh, last week or two weeks ago. That okay, like two weeks ago. I haven't even posted anything from now. Like me being two. So you was two ten this morning. Yeah, two ten this morning. And uh, man, and your being, nutritionist must be the shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. He's 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 pretty dope, man. I I, I don't get it sometimes, and I'm, I'm okay right. with saying I don't get it. That's all right. Uh, but That's what I'm here for. I've learned. So this is what I want to plug in with you guys. Okay, if you don't know. Don't waste time trying to figure it out. Listen to somebody who actually experienced it, okay, and actually done it. But you've been eating carbs the whole time, though. I was eating carbs. You, you just you just recently got on low yeah, carbs. Very low carbs. Well, not even very low yet. Just low. Uh, and and I was questioning in the beginning because we had a lot of carbs and there was a lot of protein. I was like, God, that's too much food. But then, as we started going further and further along, I told you disappearing. I was like, man, I'm just kind of, kind of hungry, man. You know. Yeah. Uh, but you, uh, he actually gave me a lot of tips on how to suppress my appetite, how to. Uh, speed up my metabolism and get the fat burning process going you know intermittent fasting i had another just more a recent uh bad experience with go ahead tell i'm gonna tell him real quick i'm I'm gonna get out of here after this so uh he told me to do intermittent fasting and you know uh i was already on my macros okay so intermittent fasting obviously you try to eat all your food all your macros within an eight hour period correct uh and then you don't eat anything else and i'm saying um and you burn fat a whole lot faster i'm trying to talk real fast get it out of the way but what i was doing was 
I stayed at 213 for almost two weeks. I was like, I'm not losing my weight. I'm not losing my weight. What's happening? I'm not burning my body fat. What's happening? What's good? What's the deal? And so I was like, what did I do different? And then the day he dropped my carbs, I was like, let me try it what i was doing two weeks prior to which was what he was telling you to do to yeah, begin so with in my mind i was thinking that you know what let me just eat like 10 percent of my carbs in the morning when i wake up you know what i mean and then i'll eat the rest of my food in the afternoon so i stayed at 213 for two weeks now the day sunday sunday i started my new macro i started doing intermittent fasting didn't eat i stopped eating at eight i didn't eat again till 12 o'clock weighed in dropped two uh, three pounds you know, then that's like two days. So my body was already kind of hot and moving. It was just like, yo, just do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? So long story short, follow your trainer's advice. Okay. If it doesn't work, just let them know it doesn't work. And then we figure something else out. But at least follow the advice first. Okay. That's the last thing I'm going to say right quick. So I want you to wrap it up real quick. Give us the best fitness and nutrition advice within 30 seconds. Eat less, move more. Boom! That wasn't even 30 seconds. That was like three seconds. It's that simple. <laughs> Just that simple. All right, y'all. We are out of time right now, but please do not log out. Stay tuned for our fitness segment of our show. Before we leave, make sure you go check out my Instagram, RPGM underscore US, and follow my guy. You can find me on Instagram at PoisonousGT and Facebook, uh, Poisonous Antidote. Dope, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you go check my guy out at Snap Fitness. I'm still over there at Kinetics. If you need some trainers, hit us up. Much love. All right, guys. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Activate Podcast. I am your co-host, Leah Iguatu, also known as Fit Foodie Lee. You can find me on Instagram at Fit Foodie Lee and also take a look at my blog, and it's Fit Foodie Lee. Dot com. We have a super fun workout for you guys tonight. I have my girl Vanessa ready to get it in with me. We're going to do a total body workout using dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells at home, no big deal. You can also find you some water bottles, and those work perfectly. All right, uh, you'll also need a mat. So let's go ahead and get started, y'all. We're going to do a warm up and get nice and toasty. Here we go. All right, tap it out right and left. Bend those knees, keep your chest nice and lifted. Just squat and tap, squat and tap. Core tight, y'all. We're gonna add in some arms right here and take that heart rate up. You're gonna step and reach, right and left. Reach up tall. Nice, keep going. Give me a small squat when you come back down. Reach up nice and tall, up, up. Stretching out that body. Keep going, keep going. Come on, sit it down low, just like that. Great job. We're going to take that across your body right here, chest level, reaching out long through those fingertips. Tipping on that back ankle. There you go. Keep reaching. And make sure you're breathing. Come on, exhale when you reach. Keep going, keep going. Awesome job. In the center, we're going to do some jumping jacks. And here we go. Modification, if you need to, you can stay on the floor and tap it out right and left. But if you can, there you go, lift off. Keep breathing, keep breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Great job, y'all. A couple more here. How you feeling, Vanessa? <laughs> keep going, keep going. Ten more here. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Breathe. Six, four, three. Last two, one. This time, we're going to take it down and bust out some squats. You ready? Feet shoulder width apart. Keeping your chest lifted. Sit back in that chair. Here we go down and up inhale exhale out there we go i'm going to turn to the side so you can see my knees are not going past my toes and my chest stays lifted beautiful job vanessa just like that come on y'all put that weight in your heels squeeze it up
There you go. Warming up those lower bodies. Keep going. Here we go. Give me five more here. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. We ready to go? All right, y'all, pick up either your water bottles or your weights. Fives or tens are perfect. Whew. All right, so we're going to go 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. I got four exercises for you. Again, using your dumbbells. Our first one, upper body, Arnold press. We're going to start in five, four, chest lifted, knees bent, weights in front. Here we go. Take it up, bring it down. So press up, rotate. Bring it right back down. Get as many as you can in this 45 seconds, maintaining good form. So here, rotate out, rotate in. There you go. Press up and then keep your knees bent, all upper body. Just keep going. Make sure you're breathing. Come on, sculpt in those upper bodies right here. 15 seconds, y'all. Keep working. Now, if you can speed this up, it depends on the weight of your dumbbells. But definitely go ahead and do that. Keep going, keep going. Five seconds. Keep going, keep going. Rest, 15. Here's your next exercise. As you rest, you're gonna come to a plie squat. Shoulders back and down, drop low in your squat, and you're gonna add on a lateral raise, down and up. Here we go, in three, two, one. Let's do it, squat, raise. So when you raise, no higher than shoulder height with your weights, rounded elbows, and squeeze your glutes at the top right here. Inhale, exhale. Let's see it. There you go. Her chest is lifted. Inhale and down. Exhale up. How you doing at home? Keep going. I got you. I got you. Keep going. Keep going. Right here. Squat low. Press it high. 15 seconds, y'all. Come on. Come on, you should be able to lift those toes in your shoes. Five seconds as you squat. Three, two, one. Woo! Rest, 15. Here's your next exercise, cardio. Don't you guys love cardio? So jack it out with your weights. If that's too much, just put them down. But if you can, let's go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Make sure you breathe, guys. Out and in. Taking those dumbbells or water bottles or whatever you find up overhead with a controlled motion. Beautiful. Keep going, keep going. I guess I should join you. <laughs> Doing great, guys. Breathe through it. Woo, 15 seconds. Out in, out in. All the way, guys. Five. Two. One. Woo! Rest for 15. Here's your last exercise. You're going to come on down to your mat. It's going to be an overhead touch, crunch, boom, boom. Then roll back down. Overhead. Here we go. Boom, boom. So take it back, overhead, bring it back, then do your crunch, Russian twist, two. Take it back, speed it up if you can here, boom, boom. Come on, overhead, use that core. Make sure you bring your weight back down before you rise up. Come on, over, come up, twist, twist. And you can alternate sides, keep it even. You can go left, right, then right, left. Less than 10, guys. Come on. Then you get that break. Five seconds. Come on. Make this one your best one. And rest. Woo! Great job. All right. Come to your feet. You got one whole minute before we do the second round. How y'all feeling? Grab some water. Take a quick break if you need it. And get ready. <laughs> Wonderful job. We're going to do that same thing again, guys, one more time through. Woo. All right, get ready, get ready. 
That was a quick minute, I know. <laughs> not yet, not yet. We got about 30 seconds actually, and we'll restart. All right, just a quick run through, so I won't have to do demos again for you. Arnold press, one. Then we go into that plie squat, lateral raise. Yeah, and then our jacks, weighted jacks. And then we got our crunches with our Russian twist. Feeling good? <laughs> I hope you guys are too. All right, y'all, less than 10 seconds and we'll go again. Let's go ahead and get into that stance. Be a little bit wider than shoulder width, knees bent. Here we go, 45 seconds. Let's do it. Make sure you're breathing. Once you got the movement down, guys, go ahead and speed it up. Get in as many reps, quality reps as you can. Come on. Don't use those legs, all upper body. Keep going. Tummy tight, looks good. Keep going, keep going. Very nice. Vanessa's feet are the right width. Her knees are slightly bent. Keep going. 10 seconds. Come on, upper body, burn it out. Five. One, Woo. rest 15 guys, nice work. All right, go ahead and widen out, plie squat, knees and toes facing the same direction. Remember, we're gonna descend and then rise. In three, two, one, let's go. Squat, press. Here, so you're working with a little bit of momentum, but I want you to just tighten your core and stop those weights at shoulder height, right there, right there. Nicely done. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale up. Great work. Nicely done. Make sure you don't lock out those knees at the top. Keep them loaded. Feeling that burn in your glutes. Come on. Less than 10, y'all. You got it. Come on. Five. Push through. Push through. Done. Woo, rest. Nice work. Come on, keep those weights in your hands and get ready for our weighted jacks. Five seconds, y'all. You're ready. Come on, let's do it. Finish strong. Almost there. Here we go. Modification. I got you right here. Step it out. <laughs> Only if you need it, though. Come on. <laughs> Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, 20 in. Nice job. Core is tight. Keep going. Are you breathing? Keep going, keep going. Work it out, y'all. Come on. Get those endorphins going. Woo, blood flow, circulation. Five seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. Woo. Come on down, come on down. Last move. Weights together. Remember, bring your weights to your core first, then rise up. Boom, boom. Here we go. Overhead, bring it in. Twist, twist. Take it down. Fifteen in, guys. Keep working. Come on, take it overhead. Bring it up. Oh, almost there. Fifteen, guys. Come on, get it in. Get it in. Get the end. Keep going. Keep going. Less than five. Come on. Come on. Done. Great job. You made it. You made it. Nice work, Vanessa. Good job. Yeah. But we're not done. We got to do core. It's quick. It's quick. So it's a Tabata style core workout. We have two exercises. This is the first one. We got a high plank. You're going to be tapping it out for 20 seconds. Yeah. 20 seconds. After that 20 seconds, you're going to flip it over and give me a V sit hold for 20 seconds. Then we'll go back to that plank. Easy, right? We'll do two sets. 
and then we'll wrap it up. So 20 seconds on, and then you flip it and do 20 seconds of something else, and you just kind of rotate back and forth. But we're just going to do two sets, guys. All right, here we go. Up in that high plank. And then we're going to add that right and left. Here we go. So belly button sucked in nice and tight, guys. Neutral spine, not too high, not too low with your glutes. Here we go, give me 10 seconds, less than 10. Three, two, one, awesome, flip it over. Come into your V-sit. You can either do knees at 90, or if you can, take them straight up. It's challenging either way. <laughs> so balance yourself on your sits bones and use your core. Make sure it's contracted. And two, one, flip it over. Back to that plank, here we go. Come on. Right and left, right and left. Or if that's too much, you can hold. If that's too much, you can drop to your knees. Keep going, keep going. Woo. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, all the way over. Here's our last one. I told you it'd be quick. Here we go. Hold that V sit. Just hold. Core super tight. You got it. This is the end. Come on. Let's finish how we started, y'all. Nice and strong. Woo! 10 seconds right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold it, hold it. <laughs> Spirit fingers. Three, two, one. Woo! Release. Did y'all make it? Did y'all make it? I don't even have to ask. I know y'all made it. Thank you guys so much for joining us for this total body dumbbell workout. We hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you next show.